a noted British doctor is highlighting several symptoms that distinguish the Omicron variant from the common cold and even other strains of COVID-19, including drenching night sweats. Dr. Amir Khan, a physician with the UK's National Health Service, described the distinguishing episodes as those kind of drenching night sweats, where you might have to get up and change your clothes, the Sun reported. The other telltale symptoms of Omicron are a scratchy throat as opposed to a sore one, a dry cough, extreme fatigue and mild muscle aches, Khan said on ITV's Lorraine. This is important, and it's important that we keep on top of these symptoms, he said. If we are going to track Omicron and track it worldwide, we need to be able to test people with these symptoms. If they go on to the NHS website and say they have night sweats and muscle aches, they may not be able to book a PCR test, Khan said. So we need the NHS website to keep up with these symptoms. Doctors in South Africa, where the variant was first detected in November, also have said Omicron patients are reporting night sweats that leave their clothes and bedding soaking wet. Dr. Angelique Koetsi, chairwoman of the South African Medical Association, said the main symptoms of Omicron differ from the widespread Delta variant, whose sufferers generally have to deal with high fever, a new cough and a loss, or change to the sense of smell or taste, the National of Scotland reported. So I'm back to seeing patients who have any kind of cough, fever or potential covered symptoms like this. It's not ideal, but has to be done. We ask that all adults do a PCR test first, so it's mostly kids we see like this, or home visits, where it's slightly more unpredictable, wrote Khan, a general practitioner and university lecturer who recently shared a photo of himself on Instagram wearing full PPE, the Mirror reported. A lot has been said in the media about GPs back quote cancelling other appointments to make way for booster clinics, Khan said. Well, I have just finished my morning surgery and seen adults and children face to face as well as on the telephone.